Hi, I'm Shane with eTarter.com. Today I'm going to walk through how to install the draw tight front mounted hitch on your 2018 Jeep JL Wrangler. Adding a front mounted hitch to your vehicle is going to serve a lot of benefits. Maybe you pull a trailer and you want to take some bikes with you. This is going to allow you to put a bike rack on the front. Um, maybe you're using your hitch for other reasons in the back and you need extra space to carry something else. Maybe you want to put a winch on it. A lot of Jeep owners are putting winches on the front of their front of their vehicles so they can take them off-roading. Another great option for a front-mounted hitch is a spare tire carrier or maybe a snow plow, which is what our customer is actually going to be using this for. You can find all of those accessories here at eTrailer.com. It's not going to be rated like some of the other hitches, uh, but it is going to give you a two inch by two inch receiver tube opening, reinforced collar, give you a little extra stability there. Hitch pin hole is going to be 5 8 inch in diameter. It's going to take a standard 5 8 hitch pin. Hitch pin and clip does not come with a hitch, however, they can be found here at eTrailer.com. This hole here, this is going to be for a J pin stabilization device, and what that does is it takes any shake and play out of any of your hitch mount accessories. That accessory, or that also does not come with a hitch, however, it can be found here at eTrailer.com. This hitch is going to be a steel construction, black powder coat finish. It's really going to help resist any rust or corrosion. It's going to come with all the necessary hardware to get it installed. It's very simple. It's not going to require any welding. It's not going to require any drilling. Another great option for adding a front hitch is if you're wanting to move around trailers. You can put your ball mount on. It makes it a little bit easier to maneuver when you're looking at it rather than trying to look behind you. Now, as far as our measurements go, from the center of our hitch pin hole to the outermost part of our bumper, is going to be about eight inches. That number is important for any of your hitch mount accessories like your bike racks and cargo carriers that may fold up against the vehicle. You want to make sure they're not going to make contact. From the ground to the top innermost part of the receiver tube is going to be about 17 inches. Keep that number in mind for any of those hitch mount accessories that may require a little bit more ground clearance. As far as our weight capacities go, we're going to have a 500 pound max ton weight, which is a downward pressure on the inside of the receiver tube. So you want to make sure whatever you're loading on it, you're not exceeding that downward pressure. Being a front mounted hitch, we're going to have a 9,000 pound straight line pull. That's how much the hitch can pull. One thing I do recommend is always check the owner's manual of your Jeep. Make sure the vehicle can handle that amount of weight. You also want to check to make sure the front axle is capable of handing that amount of weight. You're always going to go with the lowest number between the vehicle and the hitch. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's walk you through how to get it installed. To start our installation, we need to remove this plastic pan. Take a flathead screwdriver or a trim panel tool. We're going to have some fasteners that run across the bottom side of the bumper. We're going to pry out the center and then we'll pull out the whole thing. This panel here, you're going to have one up behind it that you'll need to remove. We're going to take a 5 16th socket. We're going to have a bolt here and a bolt on the other side. and then we'll set this aside. Then we're gonna take a 5.8 socket, we're gonna remove this metal guard. Push up. Okay. We'll raise our hitch up into position. We're gonna line up the front holes. We're gonna take our smaller hex bolt, conical tooth washer, and make sure the teeth are facing towards the hitch. And we're going to thread it into the factory weld nuts. Next, we're going to take our larger hex bolt. We're going to put on a lock washer and flat washer. If you notice, there's a little bit of space in between your frame and the hitch. It's going to come with four extra washers to take up that space. We're going to slide it in between. All right, send it through the existing hole in the frame. We're going to take a handle nut like this and we'll thread it onto the bolt. This time we'll be using the same size bolt, conical tooth washer. Washer facing, or the teeth facing towards the hitch. And we're going to come up from the bottom and thread on our nut plate.
We're going to repeat that same process on the other side of the vehicle. Then we're going to tighten and torque all of our hardware to the specifications and the instructions. As far as your handles, you can cut them off if you want. Uh, I'm just going to bend them right back up into the frame. Once you have your hitch tight and torqued, go ahead, cut out your uh, rock guard or rock panel here and reinstall it. Directions aren't real clear on how to cut this out. Uh, you can see I followed the directions and I wasn't low enough. Uh, what I would probably do is measure from this top lip here on the bottom where this attaches and measure down to this bottom edge of your hitch, which is going to be somewhere around six inches and mark it down at the bottom and then cut that out. It's gonna be a three by three square. Keep in mind this plate that runs across here, you may or may not have to trim that out to get this to sit back far enough. Um, I did not have to. I think what it's doing is because we're not using the attachment points on the bottom, this pushing on it is gonna keep this from flapping around. I think if we were to cut this out, this would sit back a little bit farther and it would move too much. Um, so that's why I left that like that and didn't cut it out. Once you get it cut, reinstalled, you're ready to go. That's going to do it for a look at installation on the draw tight front mounted hitch on your 2018 Jeep JL Wrangler.